It took me a, a long time to ask you to marry me for sure. I asked her dad all proper style and he was so stoked. We were like hugging it out on the beach. <laughs> it was awesome. I like got a bunch of Kool-Aid and I was gonna ride it in the snow and then get Sarah in the plane and fly by. I like lost Kool-Aid and I got lost on the way down because I had a bike and I left it. I couldn't find my bike in the rocks. Waited for the moon to come up so I could find my bike and it didn't help at all. Pretty much like wasn't that stoked on it. Asked Sarah to go flying the next day and she's like, yeah, I got a hair appointment. And I was like, oh, whatever. So it was probably two months later before I got it figured out again. Roy went out in the middle of nowhere and built this big sign. I went up with my friend Trent and we rode it in the snow. It was Christmas Eve morning and I had just gotten home from being on the road for a month and was having so many people over for dinner that day and Christmas day. And he's like, let's go for a flight. And I was just like, oh gosh, I don't have time, but it was this brand new plane. To do it, he flew over. So she's in an airplane and she sees it. She reads it she says, said, marry me, Sarah. And she's like, looks at me all confused. And then I like open the ring box <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and asked her to marry me. And she said, yes. He took all the time in the world, you know, to hike in, to get to this place, to set this up. I mean, that's a lot of effort. I think that tells you how much he cares about her. Pretty happy I went. Yeah, it was. I think I said thank you when you came down for the ESPYs. I was nominated for Female Action Sport Athlete of the Year. I was in a category with women who I look up to, I respect, and I want to be like in many ways. Rory joined up with me. It was good to have him. We went to parties together and got to celebrity site. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool opportunity for me to come down here and watch my wife get nominated with all these other crazy athletes. I'm on the red carpet. My fly kept coming down. <laughs> I had all these guys coming like, bro, your fly's down. <laughs> I'd be like, really? Like, again? And I, <laughs> it makes me so mad because I spent so much on those stupid pants. And the fly <laughs> won't stay up. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy to see all these huge athletes. Yeah, it is. It's crazy. Some of you don't really know their names even, but you know their faces. Like, I know this guy. To be picked out of all the female athletes out there, to, to be part of four, it's pretty crazy. And yeah, it's pretty darn cool. I'm proud of her. Sarah Burke, in my eyes, is probably one of those human beings that you're super fortunate to just meet. Not only is she super talented, but she's one of the nicest, sweetest people you would ever come across. I remember distinctly being at a Free Skier magazine party when I was like 13 or 14, passed out in a ditch in the snowbank on the way home. I woke up in Sarah's bathtub that night, covered in my own puke. Sarah sat there the entire day, like babysitting me and taking care of me. It was just such like a, a mother and a big sister to me. I just think the world of Sarah. Sarah runs a whole girls week. So many girls come out, it's crazy. There's like half girls on the glacier. She's something special. She's not just paving a new road and skiing, but she's really setting the standard of what a great role model someone can be. You just want to be around her. You want her to do well. There's no reason why you don't. As far as I'm concerned, I fell into skiing. I fell into something that's great and that I love to do, and I'm going to fall into the next thing, and I'm going to make that happen, and I'll charge full steam ahead, and it'll be great when it happens. I'm not thinking about the end. I don't know when it's going to be, if it ever even comes. I'm going to do it as long as I love it and as long as I'm enjoying it. And that's kind of always been my philosophy since I was a kid. If you're having a good time, why stop? Nestled over 100 miles from Santiago, Chile, Portillo makes an ideal location for those looking to get away